I will not die in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? Well, everyone is promising not to die because recently we saw a lot of crazy stuff happening in the Nigeria uh, music industry. We lost one young blood a few weeks ago and we have lost another one yesterday or a day before yesterday here. Yeah. But yesterday it was announced. Honestly, uh, something is really happening. If this was to be Hollywood, we would have uh, associated it with Illuminati and so many other stuff like that, you know. But this is Nigeria and we do not know what to associate it with. So we are easily associating it with neglect and uh, depression and not assisting each other. That is what we are associating with. Artists not assisting our artists until that person, his music is not blowing and uh, get depressed. Because when you constantly in a business where you see your mate growing at a very fast pace and you are just being there still doing all those things, you know, you want to give harder and better verse better song next time but when you try to do that and uh, it doesn't sell you know you just go back and be like whoa what the hell am i doing why am i in the industry why people do not want to assist that is when you rely so much rely so much your happiness is within that space of success when you remove yourself from there i understand it seems it's very very almost impossible for anybody to seek satisfaction with as little as any from music and just doing his thing without looking at anybody's face. It's almost impossible because you want to be at the top. You want to be competing. It's almost impossible. But this is where you have to retrace your step and go back to God and tell God, you know what? I leave everything totally for you. People underrate a lot of things in this uh, in this world, most especially these artists. You know, when you go to club, you smoke and you carry many, many girls, you know, it kind of like uh, darkening your soul. Dark in your soul to the point that you don't, you no longer see light. In where there is light, eh? no, you, you no longer see it. It's quite unfortunate, and uh, we have seen uh, numbers of uh, entertainers over the years that have passed on. May that so continue to rest in paradise, rest in peace. Omale had to even promise his fans. He said, "I'm not going to die. I promise." Omali is another one that uh, people are very worried about recently, but Omali is doing well for himself. In fact, we really need to worry about other people, like Lighter. Or you can call him Light. Lighter, that guy, I, we do not know where he's going. Lighter used to be good there, but things are not working really, really well for him, and he's just idle. And then we talk about Dami Green there. We talk about so many other artists who are not really doing well. In fact, this is what Dami Gray uh, uh, said uh, recently. Uh, he said, Ola Dips, the same people bashing him online yesterday will come online to type RIP. I got to have this in my head when, whenever I see your negative comment about me. God forbid, no be me, you now go use you now frustration key because of dead standship of oppressor. This year alone, more bad on all our dips. You, y'all kill them with your negativity, with your negative thought and mindset. Y'all are happy now. But why won't there be hate when all the fans don't turn, don't, don't turn at his finish? <laughs> See, all the fans don't turn at his finish. Do not blame the fans. You know, not everything, you just have to blame the fans. The fans are human beings as well. They are human beings, they have preferences. And the fans, why are they fans? Why are they fans? Why are they fabs? Hmm? Social media is a crazy place. Huh? Fame is a crazy thing. You have to understand it and make it work, work for you. If you depend, if you put your happiness on being famous, you will surely you will surely meet a lot of difficult situations in your life. Seek your happiness somewhere else and do your business in the, in, in the social media place, in the famous place. Do your business there and seek your happiness somewhere else, somewhere else. It's not easy for artists, for celebrities to do that, but most of them that have been able to do that, they are really, really happy with themselves. You understand? Everybody want to post a picture and see the numbers of likes, see the numbers of views and everything. You put your happiness there. 
put your happiness somewhere. So, no blame to the fans. Don't blame the fans for anything. May their soul continue to rest in peace. All our deeds were bad and the past heroes, but it's for the next generation to learn. Learn. Just learn. Seek your happiness somewhere else, not on social media, not on the number of sales. If it comes, good and fine. If it doesn't come, good and fine. But seek your happiness somewhere else. Well, speaking of seek happiness, eh? <laughs> there is definitely someone that was seeking his happiness somewhere else in a very, very awkward place. A man in Nigeria, Lagos State, precisely was seen on a rope, walking on a rope without any support. They say a man walks on a rope across bridge, tree, track in Lagos. A video I showed a man walking on a rope across the bridge and the train tracks. The man reportedly walked on the Omeni Ray on Lagos Lagoon. It was observed that it started from the rooftop of Stirling Bank at uh, Mar Marina and had a drone capturing his movement. As of the time of this report, he had made it to the rig. Well, people usually do this uh, abroad, but in Nigeria, you see some are really uh, surprising to a lot of uh, a, a lot of us over here because it's, it's rare now. But this is sport. It's, it's a form of sport, mm -hmm. and he is well. Is very well a professional to be able to make it to the quarter and to the half and even finish the entire uh, rope, but yeah, if, if I may call it that. It's a good one, guys. <laughs> you know, that is where he's seeking his happiness from. They are usually called dear devils, yeah? Yeah, dear devils, something like that. That is where he's seeking his happiness from. And he's happy doing that. <laughs> Don't be me. It cannot be me, it cannot be you, because you are not into that. You can you are not into that. People who climb a uh, 20 story building, uh uh 80 story building with their bare hands. Yeah, the people. That's what they like. And people have lost their life also. What about people who jump off from by a plane just with a uh, uh, parachute? All those are they are they are all those things are spot. So that is where they seek their happiness is from. So it's good, man. <laughs> but not be me. It cannot be me because I seek my happiness in my own as doing my videos and doing other stuff. It cannot be me. Never. It cannot be me. And I don't think it can be you as well. Then let's listen to Pastor Adeboye. He made a revelation recently that God, God change. An entire global season because of him. Years ago, this man, I was invited to Colorado in America in January. I don't like cold weather at all. So I said to my father, uh -huh. I'm going to Colorado. While I am there, suspend winter. <laughs> Throughout the days I was there, people were wearing t-shirts. What? In January. He pushed away the winter, brought in summer. I boarded the plane. Continue. At 5 p.m. To travel back to Nigeria, two hours after I left, all the snow that had been hanging in the air began to fall. Yes! Jesus! Jesus! <sighs> Anything that God cannot do it doesn't exist. Well, in the Bible, in the Quran, it is written that Moses split the sea to two people to pass ah are such miracles still working like physical miracles like something like if i say physical miracles do work all the time 
but I mean all those physical real miracles. So people in Colorado, USA, please, is there any time that you guys have recorded such event? Hmm? Please, we want to know. Is there any time that God, that you guys have recorded such event? We have seen people pray that God, please, today is my day, today is my day of my birthday, my wedding. I know it's rainy season. Please do not allow this rain to fall. Please. And actually, that rain won't fall that day. Is that a coincidence? Oh, God actually performed a miracle on your behalf. Yes. Yes, we have seen so many stuff before. Someone has even prayed that maybe he's running late to the airport. He said, God, please delay this flight on my behalf. And something, something happened. The flight got delayed and you get to the airport. Yes, there have been miracles like that. <laughs> but what God cannot do doesn't exist. Eh? There are some simple miracles God has done in our life eh? that affected other people. But you do not know it was a miracle. You thought maybe it was nature. But it was a miracle on your behalf. So I do not know if it's true or if it's not true. God, not only you know, not only you sabi all those kind of stuff, you know, you are the one that records. You know if he's lying or if he's not lying. <laughs> then let's listen to Apostle Suleba. I've talked about this before, but there is a need for us to still listen to it. Document, no passport, no ticket. Because he moved, he moved. Just seven people before him, he was saying, so now I go out. Six persons more, the Lord said, enter the restroom. In Germany, enter the restroom. Well, that's what I'm Is this God I'm hearing saying I should go to France? As he entered the restroom, the Lord said, pray. He started speaking in tongues. Pray, 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 pray. When he opened his eyes, the Lord said, go out. When he went out, he was walking out of France airport toilet. France, France. He prayed in Germany. He was walking out of France. You know your problem? What you have not experienced looks somehow to you. But those of us who have been privileged to experience a dimension of this is natural. You can disappear. You can disappear. Hold on. He was coming out of France airport. Was shocked. When he was done, time to go back. And was asking, how do I go? The Lord said, how did you come? The supernatural. The problem we have is that we are too used to the natural life. God can bless you without you playing games. Without gimmicks, without lies. The guy teleported. <laughs> he put a hope in the toilet. And he teleported all the way from Nigeria to France with that passport, with that visa, without buying ticket, without even passing through immigration, nothing, nothing. He teleported and he teleported back to Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> 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 Hmm. May God let us witness a miracle. 